What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Cardinal Red, and we back for some more of that Ali Land Boxing Talk, people. And today we talking Pacquiao Speaks, Mayweather versus Tashin Fake Boxing. <laughs> I just wanted to touch on this, you know, uh, this little bit of news. Manny Pacquiao, uh, you know, he, uh, he did a little bit of trolling. <laughs> Uh, he left uh, uh, Floyd Mayweather a message, a uh, New Year's message, saying that uh, he vows to only fight uh, real boxers, basically, and boxers his size or <laughs> bigger. So I just think it's funny that uh, you know Manny Pacquiao is uh, he can he can poke a little fun at this too. Uh, when you think about that fight, man, it, it was really like a stinker. It wasn't uh it wasn't really even a fight. Uh I think it only lasted like maybe a minute and a half. Uh Floyd Mayweather pretty much uh, you know, he probably only landed like he might only thrown thirty punches, forty punches. And uh he probably landed like fifteen of them and uh the ones that did connect, they, you know, they knocked the shin down. And he, uh, he didn't look impressive at all. Uh, I don't know if it was Mayweather size or just his inexperience as a, a boxer. And I'm pretty sure it was his inexperience as a boxer that, <laughs> that, uh, dictated what, what the outcome of that fight was. But, uh, it seems like now that Floyd Mayweather is kind of like trying to back out of that fight and uh, with Pacquiao and uh, declare himself fully retired again until the next bag of money comes along to fight a uh, a truck driver. Or he might fight Barney next. Or something. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Barney's coming out of retirement and going to fight Mayweather. Uh, anything's possible when you talk about Mayweather. I, I keep telling telling people this. His next, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Mayweather's next adventure is gonna be in the WWF or oh, WWE. Excuse me, it's not WWF anymore. Uh, I th I just feel like his uh, it's a big bag of money over at waiting for uh, Mayweather in in uh, in wrestling and. Uh, you know he's always taking the interest. He's already he's already done wrestling once or twice, but I think uh, now that he's really like a full blown entertainer now, I guess that uh, wrestling would be the next would be the next big thing for him. Unless you know he wanted to, uh, you know, guys, you know they don't they don't uh, broaden their horizons as far as what they can do with with. Uh, their careers outside of boxing. I, I feel like Mayweather could be the host of a boxing show. He could, uh, you know, he likes gambling. He could open up his own casino. Uh, you know, there are, there are many ventures he could step into. I don't understand why he's doing. And maybe that's what he's trying to gather money up for, is that, you know, he's trying to build up a pot of money so he can open up a casino uh, and start uh uh, putting on his own fights or something like that. You know, it's, it's only a matter of time before a boxer actually does that. They, they uh, you know, they, they take their money and reinvest it in where the real money's at in boxing. It's really not even in fighting or promoting. It's in owning the venue is, is, where, is where it's really at. Because if you own the venue, man, you can sell hotel space. You can sell a casino space. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, Convention space and uh, uh, arena space. So if you are, plus if you if you promoting the boxes, I mean, there's all type of places he could have his 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 hands on all type of other money uh, to where he doesn't have to do these type of silly things to get you know to get money. And uh, as far as what Pacquiao had to say, I feel like Pacquiao's. Uh, He's just bringing light to what what the real situation is. Is uh, Floyd Mayweather's not an active boxer. You know, he's not. You can't say he's an active boxer. Uh, Manny Pacquiao's an active boxer with a championship belt under his name. Uh, whether you want to say that belt means anything or not, you know, that's up to the 
to the people who uh, who dish out these belts, what they mean, and for the people who's fighting for them. Uh, but I feel like Pacquiao, uh, you know, he still has a lot to prove to himself, as well as I guess to his fan base that you know he can uh, he can still do this at the highest level, and that he can still uh, achieve within the sport of boxing. You know, these young guys don't seem to be taking the sport as seriously. It seems like every generation, from when uh, from when sports was considered its greatest, has, has declined a little bit. It's like it, it, in the '80s, boxing was considered the greatest. In the '90s, it declined some. In the 2000s, it declined more. And now, in the, in the 2020s, going into the 2020s, it seems like boxing is almost like the WWE now. Uh, and you can say that for sports all around. Uh, so, you know, I just feel like when things like this happen, when fights like this happen, it, it really puts a damper on the sport of boxing. It really makes boxing take another hit. And it makes boxing look bad. You know, it, don't make, it doesn't make boxing look like a legitimate sport anymore. And especially when guys are calling themselves the best. If he's truly the best boxer in the world, why... Isn't he fighting boxers? This is the question I need everybody to, to answer for me down there below. Make sure we get 100 likes on this video. Uh, but I'm just wondering why, you know, he would consider himself still the best boxer if he's not actually fighting boxers. There's so many fantasy fights I would have loved to see instead of Mayweather versus Tashin. You know, Mayweather versus Jones. Uh... Mayweather versus uh, 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 Hopkins, you know, that would have been a, a you know, because it's just sparring, it's not like they're fighting for real, you know, these are just fantasy, he, and he could be the first guy to do fantasy fights, you know what I'm saying, if he don't want to really take engaging seriously no more, you know, you just do these sparring sessions, and uh, basically call it fantasy fights, and, you know, put himself up against Mike Tyson, and himself up against... You know, something that's a little more entertaining than him fighting the nobody from all the way across the world. You know, it's, it just doesn't make much sense. Other than, you know, he's doing it for the money. You know, and there has to be something behind that. Because if he's as rich as he is, he doesn't need to do clown stuff like this. And disrespect the sport of the boxing just for money. Uh, do I feel like May Pac 2 is going to happen? I think... I think I said in a couple of videos ago that I think he's fishing for how much interest is really into that fight, and uh, he's he's trying to use some some backdoor marketing tactics to see how much you know how much interest is really into that fight. And I'm uh, I, I still say eighty five percent sure that fight will happen in twenty nineteen. Uh, I'm still confident. I, I think uh, Mayweather realizes it's almost over. And the, the biggest pile of money still sits under Manny Pacquiao's feet. Uh, if you need any boxing gear, check the description box. Uh, always leave me a like. You know, tell somebody about me so they can subscribe, man. If you know any homeless people, go down to holler at them. If you got some extras, man, it's cold outside, bro. Let these people know you care about them. If you ain't got nothing else to talk about, tell them about Ali Lamb Boxing Talk, Cardinal Red. We out of here. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Uh, I forgot. Uh, there's some people who uh, who was hitting me up in the comment section uh, about Mike Alvarado, and I just wanted to. Uh, <laughs> you know, he disappeared for a little while. Uh, TBE, I don't know what happened to you, man, but you disappeared for a while. I had me a little worried. I thought you got uh, caught up in in the YouTube purge for a second there. <laughs> So uh, I see you said you changed your thumbnail. Maybe they uh maybe they did get you in the YouTube purge and then you started your new channel. Uh but uh it's good to see you back, man. Keep trolling, man. Every channel needs its troll, you know what I'm saying? You're not official till you got your troll, man. We out of here.